How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rahul Rowlett, and welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some new rumors and things that have popped up within, I guess, well, the realm of Pokemon news. Uh, so we're going to be doing that. But before we get into that, ladies and gentlemen, first, a word from today's sponsor. Let's try out a real diamond in the rough in the world of mobile games. I started playing Hero Wars. Now this is an online role-playing action game with a variety of PvP and PvE modes. Here I can fight against powerful bosses and experience the story. Now this campaign style is actually great and it feels like a sort of a classic fantasy game. While completing missions, I can also do the most fantastic thing of collecting loot and upgrading my companions, which feels amazing. Now this game has more than 50 unique heroes. Each one has unique abilities. Combine and assemble different teams to battle in the arena or traverse the Endless Tower. However, the main party happens online where you can create guilds, fight with other players, and constantly rise in rank. So, join the game now and get a super chest with a secret hero as well as 62 emeralds and 30,000 gold. You will definitely appreciate it. Hero Wars is available on mobile devices and also runs in a web browser. You can also scan this QR code right here or download the game from the link in the description to get your hands on it right away. I'll see you all in the game. Alrighty, now let's get into the actual information, shall we? So first things first, we have this post coming to us on 4chan. Um, and I don't really know what to think about it. It's just uh, one of those like posts that you see popping up once in a blue moon. But this one is actually pretty interesting because there's a Japanese text version of it. I'm not sure if it's just like a direct Google Translate version of what it, what it says, but we'll see what is going on here. So we got that and we have an image over here, which I'll show you afterwards that was included below this post. So let's start with it. So it says from Anonymous, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl is a really curious game. For those who don't have the patience to play Nintendo DS Pokemon games, sorry, these remakes are not for you. They try to make up for the lack of new features with a mechanic called Sphere Drasco, titled by Professor Rowan, which is soon named Giratina Blessing by Cyrus. In the story, it is told that a long time ago, different energies, uh, energy rays fell in the vast region from Sinnoh, uh, irating the Pokemons and turning them into evil beings. Over time, this energy took root underground, and nowadays the Pokemon are still affected, becoming alternative versions of the basics, which they used to call Hisuian form in ancient times. And most interesting part is that it has a connection with Legends Arceus, explaining these events. Now, what he's implying here, what he's essentially trying to say is that within these games, there's going to exist a sort of, how would I ex exactly say this, a sort of like parallel between Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, a connection between the two games, seemingly coming from the fact that, you know, Arceus is turning certain Pokemon evil in Legends Arceus. As you guys have seen from the trailer, certain Pokemon get enraged and attack you and just have these red eyes and these dark auras around them, you know, just kind of signifying that they are essentially under some kind of spell or sort of evil and are going to cause you a lot of damage. Basically, that's what's happening there. But what he's saying here is, that this thing that Arceus did, this whatever he put out into the world, these, you know, rays, this energy that he put out, that was this anger, has essentially seeped into the ground, and now in the underground of the Sinnoh region, aka former Hisui, that's where you can find Pokemon that still have some of that in them, right? In the underground, there are Pokemon that still have those aspects to them, and potentially, there will be, according to him, Hisuian forms down there. But I don't know about the likeliness of Hisuian Pokemon being available. Maybe there will be Pokemon that do have this kind of sort of, I guess, anger as you would want to call it, right? Some form of anger, some form of like just, I don't know, just some form of anger to them essentially is what I'm trying to get across here. And that's what he's kind of trying to say here. Now, I don't know. I want to know what you guys think about this. This was the rumor. Now, he did include something else alongside this, which is this thing right here. Uh, it was It's an image of a Blossom and he says it's a grass ghost type. Now... This to me, if I look at the actual image, uh, I can't tell exactly where this is from, like the background. I'm having this feeling it could be from, I don't know, possibly just Pokemon Home or something. I don't use Pokemon Home to be honest, so I don't really know. It could just be something like that. Some people have been trying to imply that this could be the background that we see in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl from like the leaked images and everything along that line. Not leaked images, but the actual genuine information that's been released to us, right? Now, I don't know because let me be honest with you, people can fake this stuff. I've even seen people fake a lot of crazy stuff. And I don't know if this Blossom is in that realm. Like, its face looks the same. It still looks happy. And I feel like if it was actually a grass ghost type and it was like a new form, wouldn't it at least 
change facial expressions and look a little darker or more evil. Instead of just, it's just a Blossom with a different color of paint, you know what I mean? And no offense to Blossom, but this ain't really the most unique change ever. It's just a color change, which I feel like nowadays with like most of them, I feel like they at least do a little bit more like changes in the actual form of the Pokemon, the, the you know, shape of it. Even look at Hisuian Growlithe, right? If you look at that, you can clearly see that, yeah, sure, it's still got the same color scheme going on, but there's a change in its actual physique, right? The, like the physique change is more of what's like important, I would argue, than the color change most of the time when it comes to when they choose like to change like and do new forms. So I want to know what you guys think about this, your thoughts and opinions on this rumor and everything in general, this, I guess, leak, if you want to call it that. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on it, lads. So let me know in the comment section down below and let's move on to the next thing, which in this case is this right here. And this was sent to me by um, T-Town1318 on Twitter or Bearded Groch who said, new info soon. And what it is, is basically a tweet from Masuda saying, today is the day when Pokemon Diamond and Pearl was released. An era with smartphones during development. Um, I went on an interview trip to Abashiri Shiretoko and Kushiro in Hokkaido and read many mythological books. It's been 15 years since then. Diamond and Pearl is back as brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And as you guys, if you don't know all this already, he's actually currently involved as sort of like, I don't know how to, how to imply it, but he's kind of involved as a... Creative director, I guess, if that's the word you want want to hear, it's sort of the creative director of these games, right? Like he's kind of being going to be involved in that sense. And if you don't know what he means by these Psyducks, it's this like little event that happens in the games. Uh, I don't know if he actually included it here. I don't know if anybody included it, but I know like it's kind of just a strange thing to say. But basically, the thing I'm trying to get across is that it's like a little event that's included. And also today, the 28th, when I'm recording this, I'm not sure if I'm going to post it on the 28th is the anniversary of these games and when they, you know, reach this kind of point in, in their time, right? Like when they were released. So yeah, it's been 15 years since then, which means it's only, you know, it's only the time now, the right time to finally get these games sort of, you know, remade and some new information out on them. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know your thoughts about this rumor as this rumor to me, just, it's interesting. I don't know about the included image. It like, it's trying to make it seem more legitimate, but sometimes I feel like the image is kind of what makes it less likely to be real, especially in this case. So I just want to know your thoughts and opinions, ladies and gentlemen. And that's more it, like it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like down below. Make sure to check out our sponsors for today, by the way. Shout out to the lads for supporting us and showing love to the channel. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Wolf Rowlett. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye, ladies and gents.